are Portland, Oregon to kick off the World Players of Handball Tour and race for eight action. Luis Cordova comes into the season ranked number one after winning the Players Club last season, but number two, Martin Mulcurrent, looks to defend his title here at the sixth Portland Classic. Both had to get through really tough semifinal matchups though to make that happen. First off, a battle of brothers. Just out of curiosity, who's gonna win this one? Me. I was gonna say I don't know, but he said me, so now it's gotta be me. <laughs> Top seed Luis Cordova versus the younger Daniel Cordova. Luis with a 5-2 record against his little bro on the Pro Tour. But it's Daniel who comes out charged, taking the first game 15-8. But That's Luis, right. secure in his standing, puts his brother in his place, firing away in game two. Great shot. It's his, 15-7, and this one is headed to a tiebreaker. And Luis holds all the cards here. It's a repeat of game two, and Daniel can't seem to slow him down. Dominating this one, Luis heads to the finals after 15-8 tiebreaker win. Uh, the only thing I swapped out was uh, the serve, because it wasn't, he was returning it, and then I was having issues off the back wall. You know, so it's, he wasn't giving me any setups, so I started going to the, to the hard serve, and it worked out. The other side of the bracket, number two, Martin McCurrence versus Sean Lenning. In the 2022-23 race season, Martin had three race for eight titles, but it was Lenning who put a stop at two others, beating McCurrence in Tucson and in Salt Lake, both in the quarterfinals. So little revenge would be needed for Martin to defend his Portland title this year. Let's see if he cracked the Lenning code. This matchup, highlight after highlight on both sides. But Martin is not to be beat, holding Lenning at bay in game one, 15-7. But Lenning starts pulling off some incredible shots. Oh, and Sean has turned it on. It's turning into an intense showdown between these two power pack players. Just incredible stuff. Still, it's Martin who steals this one in just two, 15-12, to head to the finals. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay. Martin answers with a freak shot of his own to end this one. We only played three times, so, um, you know, even though there were like 10 or more tournaments, so, um, yeah, looking forward to playing them again and another challenge. So here they meet again, where last year, McCurrence took it in two, 15-7, 15-5. Let's see what a difference a year makes. First game comes squeaking for both pros. It's a mouse party, one after the other. Wow, incredible. From kills, to ace serves, it remains tight early on. Luis goes on a little run with lasers and ace serves, relentless and using every setup. Look at that shot, wow. beautiful. He takes an 11-5 lead, but Martin finding himself down starts pecking away. They say easy does it, but Martin not giving Luis anything easy. He ties this one up. And check this out, Martin has now scored eight points in a row. He's serving for game point and just wait. It gets wild. The crowd is stunned through this entire remarkable rally. Both players hitting every wall, every inch of the court. Are you kidding me? Every shot is covered and returned. These two are everywhere. Another amazing get. This is an incredible rally. But who would close out this one? It's Luis with the final blow. And holy smokes, this game is still up in the air. It's insanity. Wow. Holy smokes. Good round. But next time, with a chance for the game point, Martin uses it. Doesn't make it so hard on himself, and within a couple solid shots, snags it in thrilling fashion, 15-13. Martin does it, takes game, game number one. Point. Now for number two. Let's see if Martin picks up where he left off with a 9-1 run in the first. And he does, picking up a little lead early on. But plenty of game left, and before Martin could pull away quickly, Luis winds up and is able to tie it up at four. Oh my gosh. Point. Luis apologizes for that. Then check out Martin's serves. Luis has no strategy left but to take a 30 second break to try to break his momentum. You got the two best players on the planet playing each other right now. Incredible, incredible handball. But Martin is unstoppable. Jaw dropping shots continue from there, burning through points, and suddenly he's long gone. He defends his title with a solid game two win. That's Martin takes point. down. The trophy wins stop number one in Portland, Oregon. There were some big, massive rallies there, and I think I could hear him breathing, and I think I got to start rushing my shots a little bit to try keep them moving and stuff like that. And you know, at 12-6, I was just like, look, you got to just keep doing the right shot at the right time. And um, luckily, I started kicking in just in time before it was too late. 
Mulcurrens takes Portland for the second consecutive year and will now turn his sights towards November 3rd through 5th, the Tucson Memorial, where he will be joined by his Race for Eight peers, Women Race for Eight elites, and Seniors Race for Eight stars. Entry is now open for all players. You can register online at r2sports.com. And you can catch all of the action, of course, on ESPN+. For the World Players of Handball, I'm Kara Mack. See you in Tucson.